Now, after paraphilic disorder, we will look into the second major type of psychosexual disorder, that is gender dysphoria. Uh, previously, it used to be known as gender identity disorder, but in DSM-5, it's, it's named as gender dysphoria. Uh, it is important to understand a few terms important to understand few terms which are relevant to gender dysphoria. First one is transgenders. Uh, we use this term very often. Um, so let's see what actually it is. It refers to the broad spectrum of individuals who transit, transitly mean thode or sekliye ya persistently identifies with a gender different from their sexual, uh, from their uh, natal gender. Um, it means that these are the individuals who are uh, identifying, uh, for example, if it's, if it's a girl, she will identify with her mother or sisters or, you know, girl, uh, whereas the boys normally would identify with the father, uh, or brothers and of course uh, uske peer group mein jo ladke hain identifies mean ke he would like to see himself or he sees himself as a boy uh, and all those males around him uh, and the girls would do the same uh, in normal um, uh, normally but here we are talking about people who do not identify with their with the sex with with which they are born with so iska matlab hai ke they are not happy being girl and then not having being boy. If, if it's a boy, he or she is not happy to be a boy. If it's a girl, they will be more identified with the uh, same gender. Then another term which is transsexual. Um, who are transsexuals? They um, actually <clears throat> uh, refer to an individual who seeks or has undergone a social transition from male to female or from female to male which in many but not always case, uh, all the cases also involve a somatic transition by cross sex hormone therapy or by surgery so the which is known as reassignment surgery so transsexual sexual are the people who go little beyond uh, transgenders transgenders feel distress they, they don't identify with the same sex but here there is a step further that the individual um, uh, would be seeking to become, um, a, a girl would uh, seek to become a boy or boy would seek to become a girl. Uh, that should, that would be either through hormone therapy, just in the modules, I have talked about that the uh, male uh, hormones hai, ya ke jo female hormones hai, wo, uh, they actually determine the secondary characteristics as well as your behavior as a male or a female. But here, they would either go for having a um, hormone therapy to be happy with the um, same gender uh, and also vice versa. Uh, so, th that can be either surgery, which is known as reassignment surgery. This is the third important term, hai, that is gender dysphoria. Gender dysphoria refers to an individual's affective or cognitive dis discontent with the assigned gender, but is more specif specifically defined when used as a diagnostic category. Um, you might see people being happy, unhappy, uh, or you might see people cross-dressing. Um, but the people may cross-dress. Because you see that in the house, the girls are wearing clothes for the girls, or the girls are wearing clothes for the girls. Um, I'm not talking about uh, majority, but sometimes in negligence we are wearing clothes. So, um, Aksar cases mein, wo, uh, person, the, the individual, him or herself is not cross-dressing or wearing those clothes because he or she is not happy with, the, uh, with her uh, gender. But here, in, in this particular disorder, the individual is unhappy about it. Cognitively, whether he or she doesn't accept him or herself uh, of the gender which he is born with, or he or she is not emotionally happy, mother is or she is not happy. So, a cognitive dissonance hai. number two, emotional dissonance be that the person is not happy to be um, in the gender which he or she is born with. So, this is particularly important when one has to be diagnosed or placed in a diagnostic category. So, these are the major terms which are, have, are used in gender dysphoria disorder 
interchangeably or they are being used in everyday life or in certain conditions or when we are referring about gender dysphoria very commonly so it was important to spell out these terms